So we got this trail boss here and we need to put a starter in it. The only problem is the starter is above the skid plate under the motor. So we're gonna start by ripping the skid plate off. All right, so it looks like we've got uh, two bolts up towards the front, two in the middle and two at the rear. Watch out, Abby. I don't even want to guess how many years it's been since that's been off. That is your starter right there under the bottom. Now, the fun part about that is, is there's no bolts from the back side here. So after you do all that, you do this just so you can get this bolt here off your hot cable. And then we have to take the recoil off so we can get the bolts out of the case that hold the starter on. So I'm gonna get this bolt off and then we're gonna move to the recoil. I have no idea what I'm doing, just so you all know. No wonder this thing didn't work. All right, so that is the reason why we follow this sign. Recoil handle must be firmly seated to prevent water entry. Drain starter mo motor if water enters. See owner's manual. Because players had a stupid ass design. So if water gets down in the recoil housing, somehow it gets inside this cover. I don't really know how, but the starter motors, the throw out gear is under this cover. So I think I'm gonna start by parts washing this. All right, now that that's off of there, there's a bolt up in here. Yuck. All right, and then there's one down in here. So those two bolts are out of there now. Let's go back underneath, see if we can get it out. Holy shit. Fuck these Polaris engineers. That bolt up in there? Yeah. Um, I don't even know what all I've done. Um, I took this bolt, or I took the lead off, and then I could reach this bolt here and the one up above that without too much of an issue. Um, I had used an open end wrench. But that bolt up there, I could not get to save my life. I ended up just forcing this out of the housing so I could stuff a pry bar up in here and pry it down so that I could get in there enough that I could use this wrench because it has that kind of extruded box end so that I could get up in here and kind of force my way over it so that I could get it broke loose. Now I've got it about out. Once you get it broke loose, it kind of started coming out with my fingers. You can bet your ass that, that bolt is not going back in because that is bullshit. All right, so that's a better look at this bracket. I got that bolt out, which I guess necessarily doesn't have to come out, but I think it did help me with bending this bracket because it was out. So I'm gonna put that bolt back in. Well, I might wait till I get the new starter back in here, but that bolt will probably go back in. And I'm only gonna put this bolt in the back of the starter. There's already three bolts up in the front. One in the back right here should be plenty good enough because that's stupid. I'm pretty sure the way they want you to do this is pull the clutches off, pull the clutch cover off, and this back clutch cover. I mean, it'd be pretty easy if the clutch cover was off, that's so much work. Then you gotta buy a player's clutch puller. You gotta dick around with getting the belt cover off and stuff. This is just stupid. So I'm gonna save the next guy some hassle by not putting that bolt in. And then this job will only really suck instead of really, really, really suck. So, all right, let's get this cleaned up. All right, so I got the surface under the motor all cleaned up and I got some Yama Bond on this and I'm gonna stuff this back in there but I'm just gonna get these three bolts started from the front and worry about the back afterwards. All right, I gotta get that bent out. Screw that bracket. 
There it goes, kind of. All right, so I got this cleaned up. This surface and this surface here are pretty important because they ride in a brass bushing on each side. So make sure there's no rust on that when you go to stick it back in. But this should, well, I'm gonna grease. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a little bit of grease on each one of these so that there's a little bit of pre-lube while we assemble it. And I might even put some grease in the teeth of the gears just because it ain't gonna hurt it. Stick that in there now. All right, it should mesh with the starter. Oh, now that that's done, I think we're gonna put the flywheel back on and then we're gonna goop up the flywheel cover and then I think we're done. All right guys, if you found any of this useful, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. And uh, let me know down in the comments if you're gonna try to tackle this job or if you're just gonna deal with that electric start. I am gonna crack open a beer. So till next time, peace.